are headed out of here. We are going to go get some plants. This is another aspect of our life that we do on our little acreage and we'll show you a video of what we are doing and kind of how we go about it. We should have plenty of fun on this trip. So it's a 12 hour drive, um, round trip and so we're old. We're old. So we don't want to drive straight through anymore and so we are going to do a little camping trip on the way and then head out to the wholesale nursery and we get to bring you along with us. It'll be a lot of fun. See you soon. We just arrived at the nursery and we're super excited. Right now, there's a bunch of shade plants behind us and we're gonna be picking up these up for our nursery down in our little town. And there's all kinds of pretties all over the place. I just can't wait to fill up our trailer full of these things. There's Rebecca's and Daylilies behind us. It's just loaded full of stuff that works in our area. So we're gonna be loading up today. I can't wait and I'm probably gonna get way too many way more than the wolf in the trailer. There's Shasta daisies, salvias, galardias, garden flocks, pinstamens, native plants, goldenrod, oh my gosh. This is probably the prettiest I've ever seen it here. There's every color that you could ever want. Just beautiful. It's seriously bad. The trailer's overflowing the back of the truck and even more poor Luna gets to ride. And the cooler. Just made it home and the very first thing I had to do was come and see if the, gar if the garden survived us being gone. And I swear that it's grown two foot. Looks just fine. Girls took good care of it. What? Oh, this is the scary part. So what do we do? A stick? Are you going to try to do it? If you take your shoes off, you can get through there a little bit easier. There's a little small. Do you want to hand some to us? Or are you just looking? You're not even. No, I'm, I'm playing. There's a hole. <laughs> this is not normal. We had to make room. Something else happened to my plant? What? Oh, they're gone, huh? Oh, no. Is she getting in there? She's getting in there. Oh, there she is. Okay. Take a peek. Can you see in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we getting them down? Did it hurt anything? I guess they'll be ours. It's good color, huh? Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. I'm trying to find those. You wanna to come too? You wanna to come in there? How are you gonna get in there?
feel like mommy? Is that yoga? <laughs> <laughs> Nope, there's one more coming, Kira. It's coming, it's fall. Okay. Yep. Ta-da! We're home! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had a, we've got a few casualties. We've got some that broke. Aw. Cramming sometimes just. There you go. Oh, shoot. Oh. <clears throat> Namaste. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, huh? Pretty colors. Yay! We've got some that are falling over up on the bed. Who needs a Pumpkins. Still going. Still going. Still going. Like, I think we have enough dirt in the trailer that we can probably plant right in there. <laughs> okay. So, is this the last of it? it no! Ends. I got it in the trash can. In the trash can? And in the bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you headed? I gotta go to the bathroom. The bathroom? <laughs> no peeking. No peeking. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yep, we filled every space. Okay, now this is the last one. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> we beat her to it. But sweetheart. Do you have rocks in your shoes? I told you to go sit down take care of it. But grandma's going to? Okay, what do you think? You think we got enough? No. No, I no, never. <laughs> no room to walk. These are spectacular. Look at all these books. What do we got? We're all full again. We're all full again, huh? Pretty, huh? This feels better. A lot of pretty colors. Goodbye, July. Hello, fall, almost. <laughs> hey, it's August, close enough. Yeah, for us, we consider that fall. Yep. We got a lot of work to do today. Looks like you brought a little bit of harvest stuff. I did. Nice. Cucumbers. That's what I've been doing today. Cucumbers, zucchini. They all of a sudden just took off. There's a lot. Yeah, I thought. Lovely I, rain. I've got a monster. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can't even get it in view of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. It's so ridiculous was, big. Made it go crazy. Well, and being gone for a few days, that's what it does. Yep. Well, it smells good out here too, huh? Yes, it does. It's so pretty. You know what that is, that smell. Echinacea. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm stealing. <laughs> Another aspect that we have here on this small acreage is we started an organic nursery. We wanted to supply people with organic goods and the things that you need to grow organic gardens. And these things just weren't readily available in our area. So we did a lot of our own vegetable starts and we still do a lot of our own vegetable starts. We do over 70 varieties of heirloom tomatoes. I don't even know how many peppers and eggplants. 
and we try to stick with um, heirlooms, but we do some others too, but we're always doing it organically. And we do outsource some of our perennials because we just don't have the space to grow at all. And it's just kind of a fun trip to go and, and gather. And, and it's just fun when the girls come over and we get to unload. And so I do get help with, with that with, from my daughter and daughter-in-law, and they're excellent for that. And we also have um, this little produce room right back here behind me and we call it our cold room and we have herbs in there a lot of the herbs that we've dried here and um, packaged up and they're ready to go medicinal herbs culinary herbs we've got a lot of vegetables that we pick on a day-to-day -day basis that we offer we're open 12 months out of the year and we're always supplying something different from season to season usually in july though we don't have any plants out here because it's just too dang hot and they don't like it we don't like it and nobody wants to be planting so we don't do that during july but the rest of the month we usually always have something and we try to have everything that's timely for everybody for our area here we have um, a garden here that we teach hands-on in the garden um, organic methods to, to growing uh, it helps people that have not been in this area so that they can come here and learn how to grow in these um, harsh environments. Uh, it's kind of funny because we're right in the middle of a subdivision and so a lot of people when they come up to find us, they're coming up the roads and they say, we didn't know we were on the right path and, and then all of a sudden we turn the corner and we can see the color and then the iconic 1936 truck that we have here and the garden up front and they know that they found the spot. So it's just been kind of a really fun thing to have the grandkids here when the girls are working and with me. And, you know, it's, it's fun to unload plants like you saw in, you know, out of our, our trailer. I mean, I think we're over the top and a little strange with the way we do things, but it's been working for us and we really love it. And we really want to show you some of the other things that we got going on here because you'd be amazed at what we do in this little tiny space that we've got here. And we hope that you subscribe and then you can catch the other things that we're doing and we got coming up. And don't forget to hit the bell. And then until next time, we will see you again. Bingo! Is that better?